another film that people love, Courage Under Fire, mm -hmm. with Meg Ryan and, De and uh, Denzel Washington. What is so special about Denzel Washington? He just gets better and better over time. I and mean, what, uh, what happened to Meg Ryan? The wonderful Meg Ryan that many people love. We don't see him much anymore. Why? Okay, it's really. It's, uh, I, I got some opinions. Hey, you know, we're going to talk as friends here. Yeah. You know? uh, and not to mention an unknown Matt Damon. That's right. It was one of Matt's very first, you know, lead roles in, in, in a feature film. Uh, and now look at him. Uh, um, yeah, he's, it's it's he's all because of you. Well, yeah, obviously, <laughs> obviously, I got you know, you know, I, 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 I give a little goose on the way up. There's a few people I've done that too. Um, I, I was so honored to be a part of that cast. I knew, I knew from Jump Street that uh, you had to bring your A game. You had to bring your A game to this particular movie, or you're going to get your ass blown off the screen. Just because who was cast? No, well, I mean, yeah, exactly. You know, there's Denzel and then there's Meg. I mean, the funny thing is, you know, I got, I, I we did all the scenes with Denzel first, and then we went back in January uh, to uh, El Paso and did all the Desert Storm stuff, and. Freaking Meg was loaded for bear. You know, I remember the first day working with her. I thought, oh great, I, I survived Denzel. Now Meg's gonna kick my ass. You know, because she was like, she was wonderful in the film. Um, I remember that the the great scene on the train tracks. One of my obviously one of my favorites, uh, and uh, I won a couple of awards for that film as well. But um, I was sitting there, and uh, I, I I'll never forget this because I live by these words too. Uh, Denzel had already won the Oscar for Glory, for Best Supporting. He had not won it yet uh, for uh, Training Day. Uh, but he was probably the uh, most bankable uh, uh, African-American star in Hollywood, uh, more so than Eddie, than Eddie Murphy at this point. And so I said to, uh, to Denzel, you know, between takes, I went, uh, so um, Denzel, man, when do, you, uh, when do you think you hit your stride, you know? And he didn't even miss a beat. He told me, he goes, oh, I ain't hit it yet. <laughs> you know, and I'm thinking, wow, this is a guy who's at the top of his game. He's carrying these multi-million dollar films. You know, he's a bankable Hollywood star against the odds. You know, I mean, I mean look, please, we're still having this conversation today about diversity, you know. And, and, and he said, you know, he's, he hadn't even hit his stride yet. And I thought, okay, that's it, man. You never let up. You, got, you just got to keep going. You got to keep going. Um, I think... You know, as far as Meg, it's, it, her talent has never waned, has never diminished. I don't know. Uh, it's God, the last time I saw her, she came to see me in the King and I. But, you know, it's that, it's that, uh, that surgery stuff, man. You know, I, I think that even, even the strongest of people can, can get that, that worm in their ear and start to think that they have to, to change themselves or better themselves or, or play the youth game in Hollywood to get hired when the truth of the matter is it doesn't help. And it changes who you are, and it changes what you look like, and mm -hmm. and it, it doesn't make you any more castable. It simply shines a light on the fact that you know you're you're of a, a, a different age, and I, I I would hope that people would take more of a cue from you know uh, I mean Julianne Moore still looks amazing. Uh, uh, the incredible Helen Mirren is aging like a champ. Meryl Streep, you know, I mean it's 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 just. You know, you don't have to to bend to what what might seem to be a pop, popular opinion, you know, and, and, and retain that youth. 